And this is how the final app looks after it was downloaded and of course installed on the Android phone. Every element is preserved pretty nice and also built really nice. You have all the elements that you can find in your website of course. Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your website into an Android or iOS app without needing any programming skills or needing to write lines of code. It's really, really simple. In this video, I'm going to show you a website which is called App My Site, and this website will help you ease up the process of converting your website into an Android or iOS app. So of course, you're going to have links down below in the description. If you want to test out the website, you can just go ahead and click on them and you need to create an account. Just click on login and create your new account. I already have an account on the website. So to start the process, of course, we're going to go and click on create new app. First of all, we're going to have to enter the link of our website. And the link of my website is, of course, it's techbase.com. And you need to select the platform. In this case, it's WordPress. If it's WordPress, it's even easier than other platforms. In this case, it is WordPress. And of course, you're going to have to give your app a name. So I'm going to give the name techbase and then click on build app. The process, as you will see, is really simple. You're going to go through some steps that will allow you to customize your app. So first of all, you have the app icon. You can customize it using background colors, fonts, colors, and stuff like that. But you can also upload an app icon. Of course, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to upload any app icons. I'm going to go and play around a bit with the background color. And also, I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to put Comic Sans MS and then click on next. Now you're going to have to select the launch screen. Again, you can upload a background image if you want, or you can just keep the same theme as it was for the app icon. And in the right side, as you can see, you have a preview regarding Android or iOS. I'm going to leave everything like this and then click on next. Now you're going to have an option to create the login or sign up page, and you're going to have a few categories. Again, you'll be able to upload a background image if you want. You'll be able to select another logo, a welcome text, social, social button shape and also the color theme. Of course, you can play around with everything that you want here and you can change it up. So for example, I'm just going to leave here login and I'm going to increase the font size a bit and make the social button shape as a square and then click on next. I'm going to keep the same color theme that I've selected on my app icon and then click on next. And of course, we now have the home screen and here you can select certain things that you want to have on your home screen. For example, I'm just going to uncheck pages and also the popular blogs and then click on next. The next step will be to install the app my site plugin into the WordPress website. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. In your WordPress dashboard, you're going to have to hover over plugins and then click on add new search for the plugin app my site and install the one and only plugin that will come up after the results and then activate it. After you've done that, come back to the app my site website. And as you can see, plugin is not found on the website, but just click on the verify button and the website should now detect that the plugin is now installed. Now you're going to need to grant App My Site an administrator username and also an application password. You can get the administrator username by going to users and then all users, and you can just copy your username for the admin. But of course, to enter the credentials, you're going to have to check this button, enter the administrator username, and to create an application password, just follow these steps. But I'm going to show you how to easily do that. Just go to the profile page, make sure to scroll down to application passwords, and enter a new application password name. So for example, it will be app my site and then click on add new application password and you're going to find this password and copy it. Of course, you can revoke this password anytime. So if you grant access to app my site, you can revoke that access anytime by clicking on the revoke button. Now paste the password into the application password section and then click on verify. As you can see, the API keys were submitted successfully. You also have the option to customize the bottom bar and of course, you have even more in-depth options that you can do. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just walking through the easiest steps that you can do in order to convert your website into an Android app. So I'm just going to uncheck the shop thing from here because I don't want to have that section and then click on save. Of course, in the settings section, you have a whole bunch of other settings. So you can customize users, posts, pages, also social. If you want, you can enter your socials as easy as that. Before downloading the app, don't forget that you also have the preview section in 
in the left side. And then this preview section, you can preview your app that you've just created and of course generated from your website. You can click on both to start the preview on both iOS and Android and see how your app would look on a real phone. And of course, you have the preview here. You can easily go ahead and check out your website. Of course, my website is a simple one, but if you have a more complex website, would have all the sections and all the elements generated here. But in my opinion, it looks really, really good. And now once you've done all that, finally, you can download the app by clicking on download app here in the dashboard or in the left side here, it doesn't matter. And you're going to have to select the platform that you want to download your app for. I'm using Android, so I'm going to click on proceed next to Android. And of course, you're going to have to choose the plan that is right for you. And after I go through all the process and I download the app, I'm going to show it to you on my phone. And after you finish the process, you can click on build Android app and then click on confirm. You can also, you can also customize these settings. So for example, you can enable push notifications, social buttons with Google Firebase, app monetization with AdMob and stuff like that, and also app permissions. But I'm just going to leave it as is, and then I'm going to click on build app. And now the build request is initializing and you just need to wait for a while for the app to be built. And then you're going to be able to download it on your phone. After a couple of minutes, you will have the options to download an APK or an AAB. Usually when I used Android apps, when I custom created Android apps, I used APK files. So I'm going to download the APK file and then I'm going to put it on my phone and I'm going to show you the final result. And this is how the final app looks after it was downloaded and of course installed on the Android phone. Because it is an APK from an unknown source, you may need to change a few settings into your Android phone or iOS phone, of course, if you want the app to be installed successfully. But as you'll see in the app, every element is preserved pretty nice and also built really nice. You have all the elements that you can find in your website, of course. In my case, I have a simple website, but I have the block categories, the block posts, and every element is is really really nice generated i think this is a great way of easily converting your website into an android app in just a few minutes so these things being said you can use app my site to create an awesome android app from your website with only a few clicks and also it is pretty cheap in my opinion comparing this to other websites that allow you to create these kinds of apps don't forget that all the links necessary will be in the description below and if you like this video don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one that was emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day